Hey there, this is Emmerich from Emmerich's Time Lapse, and welcome to this first Time Lapse Tips Tuesday. In those short educational videos, I will share with you some tips, advice, tutorials, and more about time lapse and hyperlapse photography every single Tuesday. So don't forget to subscribe and click on the bell if you don't want to miss any of them. After thinking about it, I realized that some of my most popular time lapses all have one thing in common, the composition that I like to call the rule of three. The following time lapses are built the exact same way. The city skyline is the main subject and what I am shooting, but I am mixing it with a beautiful sky and fast moving element in the foreground. Mixing the skyline or any fixed subject with clouds in the sky, along with fast moving elements as a foreground, gives to your time lapses constant motion everywhere in your composition. There is no empty space. This beautifies your main subject, the city skyline in that example. Choosing only two elements does not mean the time lapse will look bad, but it does not have the same effect as you can see on those few clips. In the first example, the sky is empty and boring and there's not much going on in this part of the time lapse. In the second example, there are no fast moving elements or foreground subjects, so the bottom half is not as exciting as it could be with something moving all the time. So next time you're out shooting time-lapse videos in the city, remember this rule of three, including the city skyline or any other fixed subject mixed with the clouds in the sky and a fast moving foreground elements. If you can't, that's okay. But if you have the possibility to do it, just go for it. Always try to fill up your composition with something interesting at every level. Realize that it looks really cool. All right, so this is it for this first Time Lapse Tips Tuesday. Next Tuesday, I'm going to share my experience and some advice to shoot a day to night time lapse in AV mud. Yes, and if you know me, you probably know that I hate it. <laughs> if you want to learn more and get better at time lapse photography, don't forget to check out all my classes available on my website. I have so far created over 24 hours of lessons in 113 videos to learn everything from the production to the post-production and even more. So click on the link in the description below for more information and I will see you next Tuesday. Au revoir.